Topping the news tonight, opposition MP Rudal Munilal wants to know why the government has yet to provide information on the ownership of the vessels responsible for the oil spill in Tobago. On Sunday, the TNT Guardian, in partnership with investigative journalists from Bellingcat, published a report which tied the vessels Panamanian companies with a track record of transporting sanctioned oil from Venezuela. More in this report by Candice Jackson. Investigations led by the TNT Guardian and Bellingcat identified the owner of the Solar Creed tug as a Panamanian-based firm called Meljaj Offshore Corporation. The Solar Creed was towing the Gulf Stream badge filled with bunker fuel before it encountered problems at sea, capsized and drifted into a reef near Cove in Tobago on February 7th, causing an oil spill affecting 15 kilometers of coastline. The oil has since drifted to the waters of Grenada and Bonaire. Based on the report, opposition MP Ruda Munilal has expressed some concerns. If they can do this, what is the government doing? How come the government of Trinidad and Tobago, with all the multilateral support at their disposal, Mr. Hines runs the Ministry of National Security, where we have spent billions on intelligence and so on, and the government cannot respond today to tell us who are the owners? The Ministry of National Security identified the Solar Creed as the tug towing the Gulf Stream. On February 14th, a week after the Gulf Stream discovery, the ministry stated that the Solar Creed was towing the vessel on its way to Guyana. Prime Minister Datikid Rowdy revealed last week that he had information suggesting that a cargo was expected in Guyana. However, a journalist's investigation revealed that the vessels were heading to Guyana to purchase bunker fuel, contradicting documents and reports indicating that the bar was intended to offload fuel in Guyana. This leaves the opposition MP questioning the government's approach to this investigation. How come you could trace everything in Miami for businessmen in Trinidad? You could go all over the world and find all type of information on people, but you cannot trace the owners, the crew members in this case of two vessels, one a tugboat and one a barge. In the meantime, Tobago is tasked with cleaning up the oil spill with the assistance of the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries and local and international partners. The cost of the impact is mounting daily. Munila labeled the situation as environmental terrorism because of long-term impacts. Because you are dealing with fisheries, you are dealing with livelihoods, you are dealing with jobs, you are dealing with the environment, there are long-term damage and no one has been called to account. He noted that the incident also points to a possibility of the country somehow being involved in the illegal trading of sanctioned fuel. So Trinidad and Tobago is now in this rather fascinating position where our waters and maybe agencies have been used to facilitate sanction busting where vessels and groups of business persons linked to one government or another are involved in sanction busting through Trinidad and Tobago waters. Energy Minister Stuart Young stated that the government must prioritize accuracy and seek documented verification as it conducts investigations. He refuted claims made by the opposition, emphasizing that the government has been actively seeking factual information regarding the ownership of the two vessels involved and the destination destination or consignee of the bunker fuel cargo. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.